Good morning. Welcome back to Brightside. I'm Rob Finnerty. Look, Tampa Bay is paradise if you're a baseball lover, especially this time of year, with six teams holding spring training right here in the Bay Area. Last hour, we took you to the spring training home of the Philadelphia Phillies in Clearwater, the beautiful Spectrum Field. And now we are getting up and getting out to Dunedin and the new home of the Toronto Blue Jays. Well, you know, right when spring training ended, we knocked down all the outfield walls. Pretty much everything in this ballpark is brand new. Our ballpark used to end just after first and third base, and now you can go all the way 360 all the way around. We added bars right behind us now. We have another bar over at Eddie's, which is an indoor bar that's yep. based off of Eddie's Bar and Grill in the city of Dunedin. So we wanted to have some local flair into a ballpark and also have some you know, stuff that you might see in Toronto. So the protective netting, yeah. uh, Major League Baseball implemented that. They wanted it in all of their big league mm -hmm. parks by this season. Does that at all inhibit the fan experience? Because that's such a big part of spring training. We want to protect our fans, and we've done that. We've added our protective netting a lot further than we have before. We've made it a lot higher. We have about 100 feet on both sides for the fans that we can roll up our nets pregame, yep. allow the fans to interact with the players. Uh, and then we have a, a couple other areas that, you know, towards right at the end that they can also interact. Modern and beautiful as, as this park is now. Yeah. But it seems like you guys have been able to keep what made this park great. Everybody has a good seat. Um, there's not a bad seat in the house. What was really important to us is keeping that charm, the, the small town. Yeah. We're one of only, I don't know of any other small towns like we have in, right. in Dunedin that has a, a major league baseball team. So we wanted to keep that charm. Every seat is a good seat. You definitely walk in here and know it's a blue stadium. It's the Blue Jays that are in this ballpark. You get, you get that feel, which is what we want. And what we feel is different than a lot of different ballparks in spring training. Like, Agreed. You yes. know it's the Blue Jays uh, when you come in here. Such a beautiful ballpark. The uh, renovation was over $100 million, so as you can see, a ton of improvements there. That extended netting, by the way, so that's mandatory for all Major League Baseball teams this year uh, at all levels. The Blue Jays, just like the Phillies at Spectrum Field, by the way, have put in those nets, but they can raise them up before and after games so fans can have that full spring training experience and interact with the players and get autographs and things like that. So uh, great they're doing that and a beautiful ballpark.